Hey guys, I'm Ali Smalls. We're on our way to Radium Hot Springs. And to explore the East Kootenays, an underrated region of the Canadian Rockies and one of my favorite places to visit in Canada. Along the mountain-lined winding highways, the quietly tucked away communities might seem unassuming at first, but their rustic alpine charm quickly draws you in while the pure rugged wilderness hooks you. We spent four days in the area, visiting hot springs, going hiking, taking scenic drives, wildlife viewing and sightseeing. So this is part one of my BC interior road trip in the East Kootenays. We're starting with Radium Hot Springs, British Columbia. Okay, we finally made it to Radium Hot Springs, woohoo! So Radium Hot Springs is this adorable little mountain town about an hour and a half, not quite two hours from Banff. It's a little more low key than Banff, but just as beautiful. So the main attraction here is the actual hot springs pool itself. And that one is really, really good. It's one of my favorites of all the hot springs in the Canadian Rockies. So we're gonna take you there shortly. But this entire town is super cute because it's kind of Bavarian or Austrian themed here. So all the motels are super cute. And one of our favorite restaurants in the entire world is here, right across the street from our motel. It's called the Old Salzburg. We saved our appetites on this road trip. I'm super ready for some authentic Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> and uh, Black Forest cake and apple strudel for sure. Bratwurst. And bratwurst. Probably one of everything. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Spatzel. Spatzel. Strudel. Strudel, I already said strudel. So we just unpacked. I'll give you a little tour of this room. We're staying at the Gateway Motel. It's one of our favorites here. We've stayed here before. It's super clean. They've got a really cute homemade breakfast in the mornings and lots of really nice patio areas. I mean, look at all these flowers. It's super gorgeous here. It's a nice summer day. Perfect spot to just chill and relax. So, when in Radium, you must come to the old Salzburg restaurant. They serve really authentic Austrian food here. We ordered a couple of fun dishes I'm really excited for. So I ordered a traditional Wiener Schnitzel. So it comes with spatzel and all the fixins. Tall's ordered bratwurst. We've got sauerkraut, spatzel, all the fixins. I'm so ready to dig in. This is one of the reasons we love radium is because like seeing deer and bighorn sheep like this is literally a daily occurrence several times a day 
you're gonna run into this every time you come here and it's pretty cool. Breakfast is served. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Oops. Hey, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> it's our first morning waking up here in Radium. We're just going for a little trail walk around the property at the hotel we're staying at. See that little sauna behind me? We're gonna go hit that up in a few minutes. It's a crisp morning. I think it was two degrees this morning when we woke up, hey? On June 27th. <laughs> it's really cool though, because there's lots of snow in the mountains still, so it's a clear day and you can see like these perfect snow-capped mountain peaks. It's pretty gorgeous. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic How do you feel? Lights. That was excellent And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know We're doing a little hike this morning We parked at the Radium Hot Springs Visitor Center and right behind, there's a trailhead to the Red Street Campground. It's a 30 minute hike to the campground. There's gorgeous views along the way. It's pretty steep, but there's stairs and you can see the entire valley. So now we're just kind of going to do like a loop around back in through town. Hi there. <laughs> Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Ready for a beer? See, it's beer time. Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, it's time for an ice cold pint. We're here at Radium Brewing Company. Really nice spot, huge patio. I'm having a pilsner with a bit of lime in it. All the staff are so nice. It's dog friendly. We've got gorgeous mountain views. Great stop. Jumping from cliffs so high. Trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. We get up and start from the ground. And I... After our hike and brewery break, it was time for a dip in the Radium's Hot Springs pool. I love this one a lot, even more so than the Banff Upper Hot Springs, because there's lots of room and the views are stunning. It's really cool because of the unique canyon setting. Sometimes you get to see wildlife from the pool including bighorn sheep that occasionally scale the surrounding rock walls. It's only $8 to get in and it's open year round. You get a free locker with your admission, but bring a towel if you can, otherwise you can rent one. I also recommend wearing your sunglasses and bringing a water bottle. Once we were done with radium and the hot springs, it was time to move on to our next spot, on to Fairmont Hot Springs. This is a community about 25 minutes south. Along the way, we stopped for some sweeping views of the valley and checked out a farmer's market before arriving at our cabin for the next three days. That's all for part one. Stay tuned for part two. I'll show you around the cabins, more of the scenery in the area, and some natural hot springs. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.